Oh, of course you did. Yep. Uh, so where is it? Here you go. The heavies are on the mining collective. Oh, this is going to be a good one to spectate as well. Yeah, I'm excited for this match. Um, I think the uh, the mech choices are are pretty interesting this time around too. Um, each mech has uh, different strengths that it offers. Uh, I know that my preference would be towards one of the two clan mechs. Um, you know the uh, the Jaeger mech, in spite of having the dual Gauss, uh, which is both you know heat efficient and uh, packing quite a bit of range. Um, unfortunately, it's 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 a glass hammer. It's got an XL engine in it, and it's slow. And I I wouldn't want to use it uh, against all of these pilots. And then the uh, Orion, uh, although it's it's you know maxed out at 75 tons, and it's got all those uh, armor quirks and uh, structure quirks, it's also disadvantaged because it's it's purely a short range mech, and it's not fast either. I think the clan mechs superior speed and superior range would simply chew that guy up before he gets in close enough to matter. So I expect we will see almost exclusively clan mechs in this drop, either the Ebon Jaguar or the uh, uh, Timberwolf. You know, I expect we will see uh, uh, primarily the Timberwolves. I've played quite a bit of that trial Timberwolf on my uh, my wife and my two children's uh, accounts, trying to, trying to get them uh, some, some experience or, or just helping them out. And, uh, an, an effective uh, trial mech, actually. Uh, should be quite interesting to see how this unfolds. Now, what do you think about the pilots that are in the mix this time? We've got a few more of our veterans that I'm a little more familiar with. We've got uh, Didachi and Lynx joining the crew, and uh, I think that will change the dynamic of the battlefield just a little bit. Uh, before, Hydra Kyle was kind of the big gun everyone was looking for, and although that might still be the case, I think they've got a few more people they've got to keep worry about behind them. Yeah, completely agree with you on that one. Um, and, you know, Hellion Kell has shown himself by winning the first match that he's a, a contender in this as well. Um, and, and we've already saw, we already have seen in the in the uh, last drop, pilots teaming up together, uh, as well as pilots pulling off into uh, various locations and waiting uh, for the, the match to unfold. So it uh, should be interesting to see how this one goes, considering pilots are kind of figuring out the game mode and, and understanding how it's going to play out. So over here on the red side, we have Apollo and Hydra... Whoa, Apollo's firing weapons. He didn't hit anybody. Might have to remind him about that. But uh, those two were kind of wandering around together. I wonder if they've agreed to help each other out or if they're each just trying to seek a good position. Um, we've got... Oh, Lynx took an, an, uh, an Orion. So we there's two Orions on that side, actually. Him and Daidachi both. Uh, surprising me with their choices and Vortmax on the opposing side. We are 10 um, seconds to no one, no one went for the Jaeger. I'm not surprised. Uh, the majority of the mechs are Timbers, but there's one, I three count that. Jags. Two Ebon Jags. Yeah, three Ebon Jags. There's three Ebon Jags and three Orions. Um, I did not expect to see those Orions, honestly. All right, I'll we be are, curious we to have, see what they we do. We are fighting here. Uh, looks like, oh, we got uh, Hydro Kyle and Huron Black. Uh, heart engaging over here on uh, Bravo. Yep, the initial exchange looks pretty even. Uh, I'm going to want to follow that one closely. Um, Hydro's done well in, in these early rounds, but he hasn't been able to... Uh, he that's, hasn't that's been able to see it all the way the end. Yeah. Well, again, like we've previously discussed, uh, he's kind of one of those pilots that everyone's going to gun for. If they've got a shot at him, they're going to take it. Uh, Archon getting destroyed by, it looks like, Dadachi and uh, Vortmax focusing on Archon Ed down at 74%. Probably going to be the first mech that drops here. Well, uh, Huron going up against Hydro is down to 79% also, so he's in danger. But uh, Apollo creeping in behind Hydra Kyle to, uh, I don't know, maybe just try to take advantage of him being otherwise engaged. And now Huron's trapped between the two of them. Oh, this I really just... This is a mess. Yeah, if a you're on in the stuff. tunnel, uh, pinched out by both pilots here. Apollo leaving his back wide open, stationary. Yeah, see, now he is moving. He's using those jump jets trying to get up. Uh, where he's got Max build dropping Archon in. First blood goes to Bort Max against Archon in over here on the uh, west side of the map. Uh, Didachi oh, moving the, in on Bort Max. The Orion earning its. Uh, earning it. About to have an Orion Orion here. Didachi and Bort Max uh, running past each other. Uh, don't know if they have an alliance or if they are just unaware of each other. All right, Huron just went down to Hydra Kyle, it looks like. Uh, Bellicose and Drake also, also down. Not sure who he died to. Uh, looks like Hydro is trying to put uh, 
trying to put Apollo Aurelius in a bad position. A Apollo's at 94%, though. He can afford to make trades at this stage. Uh, looks like Link His was responsible for putting Bellicose Drake down and Kerberos over here. Uh, looks like oh, the fat okay. guy's moving up. Didache is now creeping up uh, towards the battle where Apollo and Hydra have been dueling. Uh, Link's at 76%. Fat guy moving in on him with that Timby. Vortmax in the middle of the map, uh, alone at the moment. No one seems to be harassing him. And still at 80%. He looks pretty solid at the moment. I think he's looking for another victim. Uh, look at this Dom the Destroyer hiding out in the corner, waiting, apparently, for the match to unfold a little bit more at 99%. Uh, Elwood doing something similar over in uh, on the B-side corner. He's at 97%. He's just poking at... Uh, looks like he's poking at Vortmax. Vortmax in the middle. Yeah, he's poking at Vortmax in the middle, yeah. I'm going to go watch this brawl between Lynx and uh, Fat Guy. I'll keep an eye on Hydra Kyle's du uh, duel with Apollo. Although, oh, oh Hydra goes hugging. down to Didachi. He got ambushed. He thought he was safe at the edge of the map, and Didachi just came around and creamed him. Now it'll be a duel between Didachi and Apollo Aurelius. They're both at roughly 90%. Uh, Apollo has both a speed and a range advantage, but uh, Didachi oh, is Apollo using the pulling terrain in behind to force him close. Yeah. Now he knows he's there, though. He's going to make him work for it. He's going to make him work. Apollo, you, uh, nice jump jet usage. Needs to twist a little bit more in those jumps. Yeah. And now he's now he's opening up the range. I think he's going to go find some high ground where he could put his large pulse lasers to use outside of Didachi's ability to effectively fire back. Uh, Dom's better still be careful, sitting pretty. Though. Elwood starting to make a move over there. Yeah, uh, Apollo better be careful. If he moves too far towards Elwood, Elwood might just snipe him in the back while he's not paying attention. Yeah, Didachi's out of the um, fight for the moment. Looks like uh, Lynx and Vort are getting it on. Yeah, those two were old landsmates back in the day. Oh, taking down Vort Lynx. getting it done. Good job, wow. Vort. Yeah. And I think, did someone else just die? Uh, looks like Apollo is start, starting to take some shots on uh, Vort Max at 46%. Yeah, Vort looks like he's in trouble, but uh, Apollo better watch out because Elwood's Here was now Elwood creeping, creeping in on up his behind back. him. Yeah, oh, Elwood coming in with the back shots. Yeah, Apollo's using his jump jets. He is twisting now. He's turning to the threat, but he's still got Vortmax at his back. Vortmax is currently maneuvering away from Turned his back again him. to Elwood. Elwood putting more fire on his back. Yeah, he's smoking now. I think his back's open. He's pinched between two opponents. Apollo Aurelius in trouble. Yeah, it's seventy percent, but no, no uh, exposed components. Still has armor on every every uh, component. Vortmax dropping goes down Vortmax. To Apollo's guns. All right, so we've got oh Didachi creeping in on Elwood now. Oh, coming oh, in behind he's him. Nice I and see close that. Too. Oh, this yeah. is going to be beautiful. We got some good good brawls going on here, and lots of. Uh, Lots of turns of the paradigm as, as one person seems Dachi. to have the advantage. Only Back losing. dooring Elwood. Yeah, but I think he was at the, the limit of his effective range there, so he probably didn't do nearly as much damage as he would have had him been. Uh, court know, him out. Court out his back. The distance. His back oh, did he really? Open. Yeah. We okay. have orange back on Elwood. So Dachi Apollo is in. trying to use the, the corner to protect his back, but he's... He's pretty chewed up. The only question is, will will he put down Elwood before Didachi? Will he and Didachi together? Excuse me, Elwood before Elwood kills him. And still, Dom, ninety nine percent, just hanging out in the corner. Didachi coming in, freshest mech in this crawl. Yeah, he's he's in a good position to kill whichever of these two timbers uh, is left when they're done with each other. He may even try to sni uh, put them both down. Um, I would turn my guns on Apollo at this point, try to steal that kill from Elwood, and then finish Elwood off. Which, for the tournament, makes sense, but he's probably just playing the corner, slicing the pie like one would in this situation. Elwood down. Not, to he guns. put Elwood down, so now he's now he's got Apollo right where he wants him. He's in range. In range, and open shoulder to Apollo oh, down. Two kills for Didachi. Didachi. We are down showing, to the last two mechs. Didachi and Showing Dom. his veteran skills. Now, where is Dom? All the way in the opposite it's north, corner, northwest right? corner of the map. Didachi is fully aware of his position. We are down to the last two mechs, 12 minutes and 35 seconds. Dom coming out of the corner now, knowing full well uh, what's left on the playing field. Uh, this is going to be a 1v1 battle here. Uh, going to go into um, Didachi's cockpit and uh, watch this, or Dom's cockpit, watch this unfold. All right, uh, I will go first person and see if I can get into Didachi's, and uh, we'll see it from there. If 
I can remember how. Uh, Dom shooting at, at terrain. Uh, not quite sure what that was about. He might have been shooting at Death of Gods by mistake. Remember, Death of Gods is supposed to be shut down in the corner. I know he's just trying to observe. Um, but, uh, you know, if Dom's seeing an enemy moving on the screen, he thinks that's a valid target. Oh, I think it, I, th I think he was just trying to shoot through the generators at uh, Dadachi as he was moving. Um, or, yeah. Yep, the last two pilots here, Dom and Dachi, uh, moving in on each other. Uh, the other, the other mechs moving around the field are just the, the lobby holders. Uh, Die holding that corner. Dom gonna get that arm? Is he gonna get a shot on that arm? I don't know that Die knows that his arm is sticking out. I don't know that his arm is sticking out because I can't get the first person to view. Oh, here they go. Now they're fighting. Oh, look at that. They're both using Lynx as a meat shield. <laughs> or his corpse, rather. <laughs> Here comes okay, yeah, Dom's, Dom. Dom's pressing the issue. I, I think it was a mistake for Dom to get this close, though. I mean, he's currently up the exchange, but there was no oh, bad back turn there. The range. Yeah, true, true oh, enough. They both and, did it. And at this, at this, at this range, I, I think uh, Dai's mech has an advantage. If he can keep his... Oh, right. what? Um, what? Oh, another back I think he chanced it. Yeah. Well, see, Dai's got, what, he's got AC-20s on that, or an AC-20 on that mech and medium lasers. Dom's in danger of overheating if he tries to match him damage for damage. Uh, and Dai is close to Dai's AC-20 is gone, and oh, that's two okay. medium lasers. Now, Dom is very smartly not using his large pulses. He's been firing almost up. There they go. Okay. He, he must be managing his heat very well. Can you see from his cockpit what his heat uh, looks like? His heat, he's, he's managing it pretty well. He's, he's, it's down to the, about the 75 percent element. Again, only shooting his large pulse lasers. Now his medium. I think it, overheat, overheat. I think it's, Time for die. Uh -oh. Then capitalize. Can he get? Oh, he should have gone for cockpit there, perhaps. Or maybe he's trying to take off side torso. I'm not sure. He's spreading the fire around most of Don's opponents. New target. And, there and that he goes. it goes. Dom the Destroyer with the Timberwolves. You know, in, in hindsight, seeing how most of these matches seem to favor the guy who hides in the corner the longest, I think maybe for future tournaments what we might do is is use the total kills as the, you know, you don't have to be the survivor if you've got the most kills you win. Um, just something to consider for the next uh, time we do one of these events, but I'm enjoying the format as is. Uh, I think it's something a little bit different. Yeah, it's interesting to see the strategy. Um, and you've, we've only had one pilot in each of the matches do the hide in the corner and wait for the battles to unfold. Uh, if we had, you know, 12 guys doing that, I think the format might need to be reassessed. Um, but I think for now, it's working pretty well. Well, I think it also helps that the, the maps that we chose for this are small enough uh, um, that they encourage uh, engagement. You know, if we had something crazy like Alpine Peaks or whatever, I think everyone would be hiding in the corners, and it, it's just, it wouldn't be as interesting to watch for sure. Right, right. No, that was that was certainly uh, very fun to watch. A um, couple of surprise twists there with uh, some of the kills that happened. Um, and the dynamic movement and watching people uh, being able to move them behind each other. Uh, not something you normally see in, in sort of Lance off Lance operations you'll, you'll run into in the game. So, quite interesting. Yeah, I think, um, you know, this, the, the, the programmers of the game haven't provided us with a, a Solaris-style uh, game feature. So I think for us trying to kind of adaptively create our own, I think I think it's playing out very well in our, our participants... Uh, are, are I think you know they're they're following the spirit of the game very well. I'm I'm very happy with how these matches are going. Uh, looks like Death of Gods is legged at this point. Hellion going in to finish. Oh, now Hellion legged. Death of Gods going. Down. There it goes. <laughs> All right, let's uh, drop down and talk to our uh, our participants and uh, get some uh, get some feedback. And congratulate our victor while we're at yeah. it. Yeah, it was awesome. <laughs> nice guys. guys that job. was a great match to watch it was, it was a lot of fun <laughs> it was fun are you guys like putting this on the vod because i want to watch this all later it is on twitch every, every right? match but uh 
Yeah, every match but the first one has video. Uh, they've all got audio commentary, but we just we had a technical error in setting up the video for the first time around, and it's been fixed. Switch is a dumb I was dumb. just wondering, because um, I was playing the matches, and I want to watch them. Oh, yeah. So, I was putting on a VOD. Yeah, so, uh, Dom, uh, you know, you stayed in, the, you stayed in the corner until it got down to Dadachi, uh, who was at 83%. You were at 99% Achieved when you with came out Cry of the corner. Was your strategy to wait till it got down to one mech the whole time, or were you uh, it, it, it intended to come out a little earlier? Uh, no, I was pretty much waiting until there was one guy left and then just take him out. That was the strategy. He's Not forfeiting his pride to Dadachi, which is really cool. And, and uh, Cause, I cause was he really... Can, he, he can buy I was himself really a hoping price. that when you overheated, I could get you with a cockpit shot. We were, we were thinking that you and I were top like damage for each team. <laughs> we were hoping that Well, too. but the damage is skewed because team damage isn't counted. So, Elwood, it looked like you were having a similar strategy, but it looks like you might have gotten a little bit impatient with when Apollo uh, was moving down to, the, uh, to your, to your left-hand side there. Uh, was that impatience, or are you just looking for an opportunity to move? Good answer. Uh, no, no, well, would I think he might have his mic muted. All right, so on that same side of the map, though, uh, Dadachi, uh, Elwood, and Apollo were uh, duking it out pretty, pretty uh, uh, evenly, and then uh, you come in in the back and just start putting uh, excessive fire on on Elwood's back and, and Apollo, making them move into a corner. Uh, when you took that last corner around the generator and had Elwood and Apollo. Were you focused on slicing the pie to find the target of opportunity, or were you trying to get the most damage mech for kill? Um, I figured that Elwood, because of his position, would be more of a threat, because he could turn around and start engaging me. So if I took him out, I still had cover to the right of me, um, but I could duck back behind um, if the other pilot came out. So take one out, duck back, vent a bit of heat, and then come back out and finish off the last one. Nice. And then uh, Lynx, over there behind the uh, the lit building that you were you were kind of hanging out in, um, it, it, clearly you took down. A, were you take? Did you jump, take down both Kerberos and Bellicose, or had that fight um, already ended by the time you got into it? Well, first of all, I take offense at it was fighting. <laughs> uh, Bellicose and I first started going after it, and I think I was given better than I was getting, but I couldn't finish him off because of the speed. He kept getting around corners before I can get there. And then somebody else came and interrupted our fight. That was, uh, who was that? That was me. That was Kerberos. Oh, Kerberos. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so so Cerberus, you you uh, you uh sort of interrupted my fight and took my kill from me, and so I had to kill Cerberus in order to make up for that. <laughs> and then I saw then I saw Vort going up by the tanks and the two ramps, and so I, I came in behind him, and he cut over and gave me his beautiful back shot, and I, I alpha'd him with everything I had, but there was too much armor on his back, otherwise he would have died right then. Yeah, it turned around and gave me full face and a face shot. But Cerberus made a good move with his jump jets getting a higher platform because the Orion, the chest-mounted weapons, can only turn up so far being too close. Um, I think he would have won had he stayed up there on that second-level platform. So, Lynx, I think you brought up a, a very interesting point. Honestly, I hadn't thought of it until I just what you just said about Vortmax. So, with these trial mechs, the uh, the points of armor have not been redistributed towards the front of the mech the way most of us are inclined to do with our custom builds. So, yep. uh, you know, Actually, uh, I think uh, they, some of them are uh, not a lot, <laughs> but like the, not not to the extreme that we might otherwise do it. Yeah, like four. Right, and so consequentially, you know, a smart player can, can, you know, can use their back armor to to redistribute some damage that might otherwise put them down. That was, uh, seeing that was Didachi what I was doing do that. that. That was actually like a super awesome play. I was seeing there, Daidachi. That was like some next level skill. And we were wincing when we saw that. We were like, "Oh, he exposed his back again." But clearly, you well, remember no, no, that was... you had twenty five points in your back armor on that Timberwolf. Well, there's that, and the fact that I've, I, I'm only 64.8 Ks in that mech. He's faster than me as base, so I have to use the back to shield, otherwise I'm going to go down. Yeah, I was just watching the Twitch of that part, and I you, you know, know you guys was like, why is he turning his back? And when you were in his thing, I was like, because he's using his back armor. Yeah, no, clearly. To give Bellicose some props, too. Um, Bellicose, you're doing the right thing trying to open range on a slower mech. Um, 
you, you just didn't do it for long enough because we don't have speed tweak. And so you're, you're 80, I'm 69 or 70. So you only got a 10, 11 kph difference. So you got to keep opening it up in oh, order to. I know, to, you know, but they're, uh, then I'd run into somebody else. Huh, I'd, fair, I fair kept enough. seeing other people. So I was like, well, who can I not get shot at? <laughs> I tried yeah, to limit good, it it's to a good one point. person it's, shooting it's, at me. It's an interesting dynamic, right? It's not like we were talking about that. It's not like in Lance on Lance where you kind of know where your lines yeah. are, right? You're, there's lines yeah, everywhere. Yeah, that's the other thing I really like about the free for all. Is it's, it's never like a um, who can I trust? Who has my back? No one has your back. Yeah. Or they do, but back. you wish they didn't. That's right, exactly. <laughs> well, okay. so, right, okay. so that makes it, you don't want to go in the center, right? Because you go in the center, somebody's going to have your back. And you see that when the, when the map was starting, um, everyone kind of spreading out to the, uh, to the uh, both on Kenyan and Mining, Mining Collective, uh, trying to put some terrain to their backside. Um, it was it was pretty cool to see, very, very textbook. Uh, we want to get the last match, the last um, weight class match started before we go to the open weight, and everyone's invited. So let's go ahead and get that lobby created. Uh, Batman, it appears that I have lost uh, the room again, uh, so I will recreate.